Hey, you guys, welcome again to another video on here. I want to believe you are doing amazing, and I want to thank you for coming back again. That is for those that are returning. But if you're new here, hi there, Lillian here, and I appreciate you for coming. Please like this video, and of course, if you have not subscribed, kindly hit the subscription button, turn on the bell notification so that anytime I upload a video, YouTube will notify you. So, thank you guys for keeping up with me on this series, and I want to say a very big thank you to those of you that are always on this channel maybe i get it right or not you are always here and so because i have gotten tons of comments regarding this video i am excited to do this so that i can get my freedom to breathe <laughs> So I've gotten so many people requesting that I that I do a video about fire service and I feel like you think I wasn't going to do it fire service even though it feels like they're being underrated for me they are as important as other security bodies i mean fire service these are people that risk their lives on a daily basis to do this for humanity and you think i wasn't going to talk about them i stand for nothing but fairness okay so that is why this video is and i want to believe you like and share it and leave me your thought there at the comment section first as we have always do we will go and see their recruitment exercise and then come back and then we continue from there. Meanwhile, at the regional headquarters of the fire service at Atunsu Trapatre, scores of applicants sit in anticipation of completing the process. Many of them have been enduring long hours of waiting and drills. This floor is rough. All our battles, we are feeling some pains but because of the job and we are under a sun so we are praying that all our suffering will not be just a jar then you get some good news from it that's what we are we want right now it's not easy at all it's not easy charlie see us sitting under the sun charlie it's not easy so we're just here to try our best whether they will pick us or not Acting Regional Fire Service Commander ASFO Henry Fatai Jua tells Love News the drills are part of endurance tests for the recruitment training. Being a fire officer, you need a lot of endurance. And this is part to test your endurance to make sure that in case of an emergency, you'll be able to respond appropriately. <laughs> are they trying to do like the military i won't be surprised if they do that because see fire service <laughs> even though we don't feel like they are big they are big like their job is so huge and commendable and it takes discipline takes a lot of discipline for these people to be able to do the job i mean to be able to face fire some of them will even go in and rescue people it's a lot of work already now that we have seen the recruitment process let's see their exercises some of the exercises that they do before we go further into it and i will be back let's go
we did some exercises how to carry the bucket that you don't waste water on the way because we will not find everywhere the fire scene directly water so they need to go around and search for the water and this can be up to 50 100 meters and then as we have enough students they will build up a bucket line to have a secured supply chain for the bucket for the water you guys <laughs> hold on please this is not about the president or political party or who is in charge and what not but i've realized that everything in ghana is so carefully done it is so carefully done even the old videos of a lot of things i have seen in ghana they give me the same vibes i'm talking about the trainings like ghanaians don't mind bringing an expert someone from another country they don't take you and say okay this one is a white man nah we are too big for a white man if it's the white man that will offer me something valuable and i pay them in cash i would do it and this is one thing i'm seeing here in ghana that i really love especially when it concerns the security and health Held. I see that people go all out to get the best hand to train the people because come on they need it like also do you know that Ghanaian soldiers are training military from the US is nothing is is not a big deal you employ those that are good at something they are good we say they are good maybe there's some experiences that they have that you do not have and I must give it to Ghana on this one when it comes to this please I'm not talking about political parties who is doing this but I'm seeing this on all almost every almost every body of the security service i'm seeing that similar acts the only people i didn't see are the soldiers it's only the soldiers that i see people come all the way from their countries to, to be trained by ghanaian soldiers and it is amazing so we have seen that let's go and understand the different departments and a very big shout out to manuel regiments for allowing me to use this video years on and our fire service still sits in a zone of neglect while government after government try doing their best i strongly feel their best isn't that enough yet these men serving as fire and rescue officers are the true life savers i sometimes ask myself why then don't we make the fire service a division of the police because whenever there is a fire outbreak or an accident the police will always have to move with the firemen but i later realized that the fire service can operate on their own if the following is done. My job today is to tell you how the fire service divisions and units should look like. And until all these are in place, we cannot blame them for their inefficiencies. Now to the first unit. Let's call this unit the fire air wing or any name they choose to give it. This unit will be responsible for combating fire using sophisticated aircrafts within inaccessible areas, just as seen in the video. The second unit I'll be talking about is a technical rescue team. This team or unit will be specifically trained for all rescue operations. Then to the fire police, this unit already exists. They are responsible for protection, arresting, investigating, and prosecution of fire officers while maintaining high professional standards within the Ghana National Fire Service. Now let's talk about the next unit that will be the Emergency Medical Service Division. Now here what we do is that we remove the National Ambulance Service from the Ministry of Health and make them a division of the Ghana National Fire Service. Whenever the fire service is at work, an ambulance will be needed. Training and Education Corp Unit Here, this unit will be responsible for recruitment, training and retraining 
of fire service personnel. The next unit will be the hazardous materials unit. This unit will respond to hazardous materials, chemical spills, and gas leaks. They will be specifically and specially trained for this purpose. Fire Prevention Bureau FPB. This unit will be responsible for education, inspection, and fire code conduct enforcement. This takes us then to the Fire Suppression Unit, FSU. This unit will be responsible for fire suppression and the movement of apparatus. Support Service Unit. This unit will be made up of the youth employment recruit from YEA alongside engineers recruited into the Ghana National Fire Service who will be responsible for the maintenance and the fixing of apparatus. Then lastly, we talk about the dispatch and call center. This unit already exists. Please note, I am not sensible than the leaders of this institution. I am just sharing my opinion on how I think the units and divisions of our National Fire Service should look like. So in every of the security body, people have their departments, just like the health and of course education. We know we have this, we have that, we have school of this, we have school of that. So it's, uh, it is the same thing and it's such an amazing thing to note. Now, I'm sorry, okay, I know, I know. Some people already know that I'm gender biased and it is not my fault. I have stated before why i love women i like women because once you give us a chance to do something we do it with all our hearts we are nice we are good people i don't know how else to say it and that is why today's spotlight let's take a look at these women in the fire service that are making a difference and i will be back let's go <laughs> The work of an emergency response team like the Ghana National Fire Service, whose main task is to protect lives and properties from fire, requires a lot of strength and resilience. It is generally seen as a male-dominated area. But here at the Wager Fire Station, two women are playing lead roles in the quest to protect lives and properties. For firewoman Rita Bavuakoto, who is among two females in the service driving the fire tender vehicle with the other stationed at the northern part of the country, her task is to carry her colleagues to the firefighting scene on time when the emergency calls come. I wanted to be a pilot, but I couldn't make it. So I was in Metro Mass as a conductor. Opportunity came as a female driver, so I joined. Later on, I moved from Metro to um, this fuel tanker called Lady Bell Logistics. And then I came to fire service as a female driver. There are these uh, misconception that only male can drive big cars. I drove from Accra to Kumasi or Wa or Sumiane. And sometime intercity from Accra to Kaswa, Accra to La Paz, Accra to Amasaman. Okay. okay, so, so being the metro mass driver and you're driving long journey, at night you'll you be still driving? Yes. How did, were you not afraid? No, I was not afraid. Apart from Rita, her senior colleague, ADO2 Beatrice Jara, also heads the team to douse fire on the scene. For the likes of Beatrice, they are only two in the service at the forefront of dousing fire. I have to have confidence in you to approach. But if you are very afraid of something, you cannot. You will move. If you don't move, the crew will not follow you. You are genius. Okay. So you have to set a very good example for them to follow you. But when you reach there and size it, I say, Charlie, you can make it. You go this way, come this way, two of you make you follow me. Then you are moving. You get it. <laughs> They are breaking the barriers. They are making a difference. <laughs> Me, I can actually be beside these women, okay? Support them to drive and tell them 
to go ahead and tell them if there is any danger but me myself i don't think i can i have the mind to do that i don't know i just feel like i'm just too soft and also hard at the same time but my own heart is to support you to be hard in case you want to back out you want to give up i really love this anyways let's go and just take a look at their parade and i will be back Red, Red The contingent have formed GNFS at 60. Contingent 5. I like their uniform. <laughs> their uniform is giving me the military vibes. Like, yeah, I like their parade, their uniforms. I just love how people love the job. I do not know if there's anyone underwriting the fire service. For me, the other day I was watching a video here in Ghana by a Ghanaian and I see where he was complaining that the fire service in Ghana is a total joke. They don't have it and I'm like, oh God, oh God. Anyways, we are not comparing, but may we never compare because if we compare, you will cry for me. You see some of you, you will donate money for me and say, Lily, take this money go to a country go away just go to wakanda find a country and just go and don't come back don't go back to your own because if you want to talk about fire service we have it oh we have it but i don't want to talk about it after all this is not ghana versus nigeria video but some of these things that you have you guys are doing amazing i appreciate and i know i understand you want more is good but please sometimes be thankful for it if i see times if i see five percent five five percent i will be so happy but <laughs> i cannot relate and hey they have a music band or music bands they even have a youtube channel dedicated to their band let's go and see some and i'll be back <laughs> It has been from the Ghana National Fire Service. so <laughs> their music is not bad it's not bad i would like to know something down there in the comment section especially to those of you my my amazing viewers that have asked me to do fire service eh? um why is your music so good is it these amazing singers do they also join you in rescuing people in fighting fire because i don't understand they are so good it's as if 
all the time they are singing i mean i want to know they are so good at it and i love it so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you respect fire service officials it's not a joke i think it's one of the jobs that i i cannot do because i don't know because like um the female driver was saying that it's not a job for people who don't have a heart for me i don't think i can face horrible issues like fire burning down and inside like i can't face it i don't know how to deal with that so let's appreciate these guys for their hearts then get their hearts is behind them it's not in front for you to be able to do this job and thank you guys for working for humanity fire service god will bless you guys and your body will continue to grow and uh, god will bless you guys continue to serve your motherland in all honesty and god will bless you thank you for the ones you are doing and the ones you are going to do god bless you and bye